Peter Fleming was born to Wilfred and Olive Fleming on February 22, 1940, in Mansfield, England. Due to the ongoing war at the time, he and his family moved to a small town called Landstefan before finally settling down in Leicester after the conflicts had ended. Here, Peter attended Wigston Grammar School, where he quickly rose to the top of his class in maths and sciences, earning him scholarships to major universities. He eventually decided to attend Durham University, where he earned his bachelor's degree in physics. It was at Durham that Peter took an interest to the new and developing field of electrical engineering and decided to pursue a PhD in the subject at the University College London. After spending a brief period of time working in England, the now Dr. Peter Fleming immigrated to America to work at AT&T's high-tech Bell Labs in Princeton, New Jersey. At Bell Labs, Peter received several patents, published numerous reports, and won awards for his technical ability and knowledge in the field. He also built one of the world's first paint mixing machines, similar to what one would find today in any home improvement store. While working at Lucent, he also became a certified twin engine pilot, where he flew commercial charter flights on his free time. He also ran his own professional string quartet, where he played first violin. Peter worked at Lucent for 30 years and after retirement continued his passion for engineering by building his own computer numerical control device. A few years ago, he began using that device to build a cheap solar collector with the purpose of heating water. This machine had the potential to save millions of people thousands of dollars. Unfortunately, Peter did not live long enough to see his invention become reality. Peter will be remembered indefinitely for the contributions he has made to society through his work at Bell Labs. He was a great engineer and an even better person. While his life was a great success and filled with a vast amount of accomplishments, he will still be missed dearly and remembered forever.